Hi, welcome to another Jarvis Walker Brands how-to video session. Today we're on the uh, Hastings River, probably in about four feet of water here. Gravel bottom, bit of breeze there to give the fish some cover. We're just going to cast some hard bodies and see how we go. Neil's running a uh, shallow super brim tsunami and I've just got a deep chubby on here, something that hits the bottom nice and hard. We're just coming up to a little bit shallower spot up here in front of us and hopefully we'll be able to crack a couple of brim here. Important part in this is just to get the right lure for the right situation. Here we're fishing about three, four feet, rough gravelly bottom. I've got a deep chubby here, dives to about eight feet on a good cast. Neil's using a tsunami super brim. It dies to about two, three feet, which is perfect for this situation. You know, the fish won't be sitting right on the bottom in this shallow water. They're moving around and probably in the shallower water go to that shallower lure. When you need that over four or five feet, you go to that deeper diving lure. So just your lure choice, you just got to match to your location a bit there. On this line I'm using today on the Gliss, we've got a six pound leader on this one. This is the uh, Fluor Rovex fluorocarbon, a great leader material, good knot strength, good abrasion resistance, does a great job. In this area, you don't need to go too heavy because there's no real area the fish are gonna wipe you out on, like snags and trees and that sort of thing. So you can fish that little bit lighter, but when you're fishing around racks, snags and that sort of thing, you'll probably go up to the eight and 10 pound. Good retrieves for these is usually just a slow roll. Or you throw out, when as soon as you feel that lure bump in the bottom, just slow down your retrieve. You can contact with the bottom, it's not gonna move too quick. Gives that fish a good chance to take it. We're using the GP Smart 80 pound electric here today. This gives you a lot of great advantages. Here we're just slowing our drift down by just setting the boat upstream, but it's just slowing us down so we're drifting nice and easy with that current. Keeps you in that area where you want to be to catch them fish. Okay, we're fishing a gravelly area here with our diving hard bodies. Other good areas, this part of the ear you look for, are edges in the shade, anywhere where there's a bit of shade, gives that fish a little bit more cover. Weed beds are very good this time of year, being summer. You know, your prawns are coming on too as well, so they're gonna inhabit the uh, weed areas. Across the shallow reef we've got in front of us here on the um, airstrike combo, and great little combo for a beginner sort of combo, not expensive, great feeling rod. A big part of the um, catching your fish is getting that time of year right. Like early summer, the fish are moving up river. It's a good time of year to catch them up here. After Christmas, the fish filter all throughout the areas of the river. Then come autumn, they'll start moving down the system, down to winter, where they go out and you'll find them on the rock walls down the bottom of the uh, rivers. So the most important thing is just trying to figure out which part of the year your fish are there and which areas they'll hang in. Oh, it's a flatty. Good stuff. Flatty. Yep. Oh yeah, just coming across the shallow reef there, really nice fish. The tide nearly topping out here today, so there's not that much rain and the fish tend to not feed too much in the uh, slack water part of the day. So we're hoping a little bit later when that tide starts really moving across this part of the, this area we're fishing here, they should really pick up on the bite. Fantastic fish, if you need any more information on what the gear we're using today, just visit the Java Walker website. <laughs>